Ah, uh, yeah, just... Uh, hey, YouTube, uh, it's me, Joey, and my friend David here. David, say hi. Hello. And, uh, we are, in a way, uh, Fallout experts. Um, today we are here to talk about what is better, Fallout 3 or Fallout New Vegas. This is, uh, our opinion, so, um, uh, don't judge us if you disagree. But, um, so, uh, we're gonna start off by saying the pros and cons about each, uh, game. Uh, so, first we're talking about, uh, Fallout New Vegas, which in my opinion is the better one. I'll tell you really quickly. And, uh, David, what's your favorite one? Um, I like this one better. Yeah, Fallout New Vegas. So, um, the pros about this one is, this is a better game for uh, beginners in Fallout. Fallout 3 is a more hardcore game. It's kind of, uh, it kind of, uh, like, it kind of, like, helps you for the first few, uh, minutes, but then it just sets you out into the wasteland and says, here, go do stuff. New Vegas, it gives you more uh, direction, gives you more t uh, of a tutorial. Uh, so that's pretty good. Um, David, you want to say anything good about New Vegas? Um, yeah, it's easier. And you can get more caps, so you get better weapons more faster and easier. But it also makes the game easier. Yeah, the uh, Fallout New Vegas is much more uh, easier than Fallout 3. Um, uh, the Fallout 3 is in a way more realistic. It feels more, uh, like the end of the world. It feels more like a, it's the apocalypse. While New Vegas kind of feels like, like, just... It's all friendly. Yeah, it kind of, it feels more friendly than Fallout 3. So if you feel like, uh, like, yeah, so this is, just is more harder, this is easier, more hardcore, um... Just this for beginners. This one's in the city, and this one's in like a rural area. Yeah, another bad thing I found about New Vegas is the strip. The strip is really small, and the can and the all the um casinos are kind of small, and there's not much point in having all the casinos because they just do the same thing. So the strip in the game is kind of useless, and that's like bad thing because they promise that the like the strip is gonna be great. They make more caps. Yeah. But also, um, in New Vegas, um, you get two caps too easily. So. Yeah, but uh, um, why I like New Vegas better is because, um, uh, in a way, I think it's better, more exploring game because I've I explored a lot and I spent over, I've spent about eighty four hours on this game, I believe. On this game, I spent about thirty six hours. Um, I just felt it was better to like uh. Explore. I felt that the guns were more better to use because you can now use the iron sights. Um, There's also better DLCs in this one. Yeah. Well, not technically, but I, these I, are I, good, and not all of these are good. Uh, yeah. The like, DLCs for they kind of rig you off in the end, trying to force you to buy broken steel. Yeah. You can't continue. But um, they both have about the same size worlds. But Fallout New Vegas has definitely more locations than Fallout 3. Um, so, uh, I'd spent more time on New Vegas. I spent about, I, like I already said, about 84 hours. David spent, like, uh, 79 hours, right? Yeah. And also, this has, like, way more guns than this. This has, like, a couple. This has, like, a lot. Yeah. But, um, I do still feel that this has the more apocalypse feel, and that really kind of weighs it out, but not enough to beat New Vegas. Um, I'll show you the backside. Uh, there are definitely more bugs in New Vegas than Fallout 3, so you will run into bugs like, uh, quests won't be updated, uh, people will, uh, like, won't sell you things anymore. Um, well, Fallout 3 didn't have that many glitches, only that the game froze every now and then, and that's basically it. Um, the only thing I didn't, another thing I didn't like about Fallout New Vegas is that, uh, they didn't, like, upgrade anything, like, they didn't improve anything from Fallout 3, except that you can now get mods for guns, and they, uh, got more weapons in this one, so, that's basically it. Um, they didn't improve the circle thing that much, uh, I never used a circle one, I just didn't find much use for it. Also, the companions in this don't die. Which another is another reason why you should get it because it's much easier. This one, your companions can die, 
And, uh... But most of the companions, like... Once you get towards the game, there's a guy named Fox. And he's too overpowered. Yeah. Also, if uh, your companion kills a person in New Vegas, uh, you get the XP for it, but not in Fallout 3. So you see that Fallout New Vegas helps you more, and, like, it's more for beginners... But for Fallout 3, it doesn't, like, you know, as much, uh, like, piggyback you in a way. Uh, and also, um, this has more tribes and people, and this only has Brotherhood of Steel and, like, Megaton and yeah. stuff. Uh, th this is one reason why this is better is because it has the, um, the different factions. And you can end the game in multiple ways with different factions. While Fallout 3, you can basically end it a couple ways. Um, you can start on it differently, but I still prefer Fall New Vegas because it has multiple endings. Th another thing that Fall New Vegas didn't improve is that how you can complete a game and you don't continue it. Like, you have to have a save before you do it, so this kind of sucks. But, um, that's basically it. Uh, New Fall New Vegas has a pretty good set of, uh, DLCs. We just actually completed the Lonesome Road DLC, which was, in my, like, opinion, like, the best... Follow the DLC ever. Um, Battle with Ulysses was fun, and you get pretty good guns and stuff like that. The only DLC I didn't like in Fallout New Vegas is the um, Honest Hearts. And can you tell me why, David? Yeah, because you can beat it in 30 minutes, and yeah. it's terrible. His brother literally beat it in about 45 to an hour. And, um, yeah, that's the only part I don't like about it. Fallout New 3 had pretty good DLCs. But they weren't all fun. Fallout, I mean, uh, the Mothership Zeta, that sucked ass. Definitely the worst um, DLC out of all Fallout. Um, the, what do you call it, the Pit? It was pretty good, but it was too short. Um, I did like, uh, what do you call it, Operation Anchorage, but that was too uh, short also. But, um, so, there's a lot of pros and cons to each one, but... Overall, we both, we both think that Fallout New Vegas is a better one. But, uh, another thing i like to point out, if you haven't played a Fallout game yet, choose Fallout New Vegas first, then move to Fallout 3. You will still have fun with Fallout 3, but Fallout New Vegas is for more beginners. So if you haven't played a Fallout game yet, play Fallout New Vegas, then go pick up Fallout 3, because, uh, you, like, you're gonna have no clue what to do in Fallout 3, and in Fallout New Vegas, they give you more, uh, stuff. So, uh, Remember, get Fallout New Vegas, then Fallout 3. So, uh, thanks for watching, guys, and uh, I'll see you later.